Each team has played more than just a few games. This deep into the season, Doris, is it too early to call a team or a player a surprise? I think so, because the year is so long, so often we'll see a team in the first 20 games either outperform or underperform what we expect, and they'll usually find their level. Here are the starters for Los Angeles. George and Leonard are the forwards. Then it's Harden, then it's Ivica Zubac, and it's Mann in at the two spot, and it's Leonard missing. And here are the Thunder now. Here is Williams. As you can see from his numbers, he's been a key component in their offense. He's averaging almost 18 points a game. That one falls. I mean, sneaky. When he moves around the floor, Holmgren takes you out of the play, slips past, and just rolls to the hoop. Now here's Harden. He's been a factor in their offense on most nights with his scoring average at nearly 16 points a game. George with the bucket. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. And the Clippers, one of the more efficient three-point shooting teams, Greg, in the NBA. And Kevin, really over the last decade, that's been one of their most consistent traits. And it's not just because of talent. They're smart about the shots they take. Two on the clock. Williams for three. And it's James Harden with the rebound. And even against defense as tight as that, you almost expect him to still bury those. Outside for George. And again, Los Angeles with the triple. Well, it's Harden continuing to evolve as a playmaker. This guy, including his teammates, making them feel good. Holmgren sets the screen for Gilgis Alexander. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And you look at the Thunder style of play, very fast-paced. And because of that, they put up a lot of shots. And their goal really is to overwhelm you and wear you down. Of course, they allow plenty of shot attempts as well. First free throw is good. What's been amazing to watch is Shea Gilgis Alexander going from good player to now putting his name at the very top of the list in terms of great guards in the league. Gilgis Alexander hits them both. Probably as close to a sure thing as you can have at the free throw line. George against Dort. Shoots from the elbow. Nice defense from Dort. And the way he was able to reach out towards that release had an impact. Well, no question. He altered that shot. And most of the time, that's just as good as blocking it. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. Against Golden State, he was really on his game. This guy is such an explosive athlete. Shea Gilgis Alexander goes straight to the cup. Williams against Leonard. Zubac trying to break loose. And Leonard gets it to go. And this is the attack mindset you want to see coming into the game. Get it to the right guy. Get a high percentage look. And that's the kind of game they want to play tonight. Now here's Giddy. He provides a good amount of offense for the team, averaging around 11 and a half points a game. Chalk up two there. And once Holmgren gets the ball in there, he can finish in so many ways. And it's Leonard with the ball. He'll bring it up for Los Angeles. They put up a nice win against Utah last time out. And bottom line, they found ways to score. Credit the game plan going in. It was right on the money. And that's not an easy environment to play in. To score at the rate they did on the road says a lot about their intensity and focus. From outside the arc. And it's out of bounds. Oklahoma City able to retain possession here. And taking a broader look here at the year-over-year -year scoring trend for Russell Westbrook. Yeah, and looking at his offensive numbers from the past few years, it, it seems like teams around the league have kind of figured him out. Uh, he's having to work a lot harder for his points and they haven't been coming nearly as easily as they used to. 
And Oklahoma City making a change here. Joe's checked in. And the Clippers with a change here too. Russell Westbrook in for Paul George. Outside, Dort. Oklahoma City moving it around. Holmgren against Zubas. Williams for three. And the rejection by Leonard. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Now we get a chance to check out the standings out west. Already we're in December. Look at Oklahoma City. They're in second. Looking to take over the first spot. And checking out the Clippers. Three games behind. And you know for the Thunder, they've gotten off to a terrific start this year. We knew they were capable of playing terrific basketball. And so far, they have not disappointed. Yeah, and there really hasn't been any feeling out process for them at the start of the season. They were in peak form immediately. Catching up on the changes for Oklahoma City. Kenrich Williams comes in for Williams. And it's Micic in for Dort. There's 49 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Holmgren wide open. And that comes off the assist by Giddy. And stretching out his shot from deep, Holmgren has developed some pretty solid range. Outside Westbrook. And they wasted no time getting those three points back. The real come at us and we're coming right back at you and you would expect nothing less from these two taking pride and making plays now here's giddy scoreless thus far savvy decision by josh giddy this guy in pick and roll action look out now here's leonard outside westbrook Foul for three, and no good that time. It's a tie game in Oklahoma City. And back in a moment as we'll get underway with quarter number two. And we hope you're enjoying the game. Both teams tonight keeping things pretty even so far in the scoreboard. And what stands out to you from Oklahoma City in this one? They just came into this game with the mindset of sharing the basketball. When you keep everyone involved at the offensive end, it keeps everyone engaged in other areas as well. Here's Micic. Nothing on the board. So with Leonard on the bench, here's who Teron Lou's going with. Out on the wings for him, Powell and George. Round out there with P.J. Tucker. And it's Westbrook in at the one. Just five on the clock. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Score the basket, his second of two attempts. And Greg, when things go crazy, coaches are often the first to go. But how often does that improve things? Sometimes it goes the opposite direction, Kevin. But the simple fact is it's usually easier to change the coach than it is to turn over the roster. The Thunder with the lead. Here's Joe. He puts up decent numbers on a nightly basis, averaging about 10 points a game. Gilgis Alexander against Powell. Williams with a clean look. And the Thunder another three. Well, you love to see that vision from Shea Gilgis Alexander. Spread the love, young sir. And here's George. His last outing with 20 points. There's the drive. The shot is good. And so is his shooting tonight. Three for four. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. You got for us, D.A.? Thank you, Kevin. Paul George is one of the game's premier two-way wings. He says, I believe in my talent and what I can do, but I feel my job is to make everybody better. 
That's what I try to do when I'm on the floor. Just make the game easy for everybody, whether it's creating or just being aggressive and making reads off of that. Kevin, back to you. Yeah, David lets the game come to him. Well said by him. Thank you. Here's Tucker. The Thunder making the shot. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. Pass to George. Back to Powell. And here's Westbrook to the middle. Here's Brown. The rebound by Michich. And we're now a little over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Passes it to Joe. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Spin. Throws it down as the official calls the foul. It may be a three-point play. It's going to go on Norman Powell. Well, Shea Gilgis Alexander shows you he's not afraid to draw contact. Now gets to the free throw line. Los Angeles making a switch here. Zubats is checked in for P.J. Tucker. Leonard comes in for Brown. Mann's checked in for Norman Powell. And it's James Harden in for Russell Westbrook. That's good from Gilgis Alexander. Clippers trail by six. Harden outside. Pass to Leonard. Zubats a screen on Williams from 11 feet away. And that one's good, Leonard. Leonard's got his second bucket of the game to go. Now the mid-range is Kawhi's bread and butter. This guy can get to his spots and take whatever he wants. And the pass to Holmgren. And a great assist by Gilgis Alexander as that one goes in. Gilgis Alexander's got three assists tonight. And out of bounds as the Thunder gain possession. Let's take a look at the numbers for Kawhi Leonard. In the last five games, you can see the trend upwards for effective field goal percentage. And it shows you how confident he's playing right now. Wallace has checked in for the Thunder. And the Clippers with a change here, too. Westbrook's checked in. Pass to Holmgren. Pass to Dort. Outside Williams from the arc. Hits the three-point bomb. Williams has got the lead up to 10 now for the Thunder. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Now here's Westbrook. He provides a good amount of offense for the team, averaging around 11 and a half points a game. The feet to heart. And he banks in the layup. And, Kevin, they started the game shooting it so well. I I'm surprised they haven't continued. They've got to get back to their sprint. Here's Wallace. He had 10 points in the win against Golden State. It's Giddy with the drive. Count that one. Giddy's got the lead back up to 10 now for the Thunder. Oh, great ball movement there. And it's Harden with the ball for the Clippers. They'll be playing host to Portland for their next game. And that game will kick off a four-game homestand. And that one's good. Westbrook. You love the quickness that Russell Westbrook gets into in the catch-and-shoot opportunities. Rise and fire, young sir. About three seconds between shot and game clock. Holmgren sets the screen for Giddy. And the dunk by Holmgren. And I've been impressed with the unselfishness, but... Also getting guys the ball where they can do something with it. And he has shown a terrific feel for how the defense is playing him and then taking advantage of that. Leonard. Good D by Williams. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. And so it's Oklahoma City ahead by nine as the quarter comes to a close. They're feeling very confident shooting the ball with great efficiency and dictating the pace. And we'll be right back after this. Hello and welcome. Before we take a look at the action from the first half, a brief overview of some upcoming games. 
All right, fellas, back in your playing days, what was your favorite city to eat in? Whatever city Kitty was in, I'd go steal his lunch, then we'd beat his team on the court same night. Well, wait, just for the record, that never happened. And now let's talk about this one. Man, what a great start for the Oklahoma City Thunder. They're shooting lights out. Very aggressive, just humming along like one of those 10,000 cars Shaq has. Come on, Kenny. I only got like five, 600 cars. Oh, my gosh. That's why they call him Shaq Diesel. Thanks for joining us. Now let's toss it to Kevin Harlan for the start of the second half. We played through the first half. Plenty of basketball, though, left in this one. Chad Holmgren has been sensational. And how about the amount he's contributing in the scoring column through two quarters? He has been terrific. And one would expect that the defense made some adjustments at halftime, but he has the ability to answer right back. And for those of you just tuning in, thanks for being with us. The second half of this game still to play. Dort and Williams up in the forward positions. Josh Giddy is out there with Gilgis Alexander. And it's Holmgren in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. That's the lineup in the game for Oklahoma City. And you look at Paul George, Doris. He really fits any system you can think of. Uh, Kevin, that's about two things, the skill set and the mindset. If you need him to take over, he can change and get that line of thinking in his mind. You want him to play a secondary role, he can adjust there mentally as well. The Thunder leading by nine. Gilgis Alexander with it. Nine points in the game so far. Crew on the 14-footer. Gilgis Alexander's got 11 points. Well, Shea Gilgis Alexander, that three-level scoring ability, that time working the mid-range. Harden the pass to Leonard. From outside, off the mark. Just not much success when it comes to shooting. Little over a minute gone here in the second half. It's Gilgis Alexander with the drive. Out of bounds, the Clippers take possession. And we have some time now to show you which rookies have the greatest impact offensively over the course of the last month. Second, Chad Holmgren. And those numbers have started to set him apart offensively from most of the other rookies in the league. Clippers trail by 11. Outside Leonard from 12 feet out, and the jumper falls for him. Leonard's got his third bucket of the night. Kawhi's such a gifted offensive player. How about that dribble drive move? So nice. Outside, Dort. Back to Gildas Alexander. Offline with his three. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here to the wing right side and it's Leonard top of the key from the top of the key he buries it eight points for him this guy has such a nose for the basket Kawhi Leonard not afraid to let it fly on the catch outside Dort back to Gildas Alexander Five on the clock. Outside Williams. The Thunder with another miss. Boy, as slow a start as you could have. Just one for four from the field. They're struggling. And it's Leonard missing. And, the, and they're controlling the boards, Kevin. That's plus five in that category. Here's Giddy. The shot's good. Giddy's got his second bucket. Josh Giddy at six foot eight, guys. That floater's going to be tough to deal with. Williams against Leonard. That's all good, and that's his fifth basket of the game. He's shooting five for 11 now. This guy can do so much for you on the offensive end, and that is why his number gets called time and time again. 
Outside for Gilgis Alexander. Over Harden and Oklahoma City again with the bucket. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. I right now I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. The Clippers in recent years have become one of the better defensive teams in the league. Now, Coach Ty Lue said it's tough because everybody on the floor now is a decent three-point shooter. So you got to pick your poison. It's different than when I first started. The game is changing every year. So you've got to be able to adapt to the times. Kevin? All right. Thank you, David. So for the Clippers, P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for Zubox. Norman Powell comes in for George. And it's Russell Westbrook in for Terrence Mann. Just over three and a half minutes through the third quarter of play now. Westbrook, no good. Another rebound hauled in. They're hitting the glass with a lot of passion. Now, Dort. Still yet to score. Williams, that's for two. Powell pulls it in. And this is exactly what you have to do to stop him. That was a tremendous contest, forcing the miss. No one near Westbrook as he lets it go. It's good from long range. Westbrook's got nine points. Russell Westbrook has never been shy about letting it fly, and if he gets cooking from deep, boy, it is scary. Williams, a screen on Westbrook. Here's Giddy. And that one is off. And here's Westbrook. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. Their defense has only allowed six points in the second half. It's good, and the Thunder lead is cut down to four on the bucket from Kawhi Leonard. And not relying at all on the three-point shot. Uh, they may want to rethink about stretching the defense a bit like they did in that first half. Giddy with the screen on Hart. Joe passes to Giddy. Can't hit that one. Never easy to stop this guy at the rim, but that is a beautiful contest right there. Leonard lays it up and banks it in. Now just a two-point Thunder lead. I'll tell you, they're right in this. We'll see if they can maintain momentum. Probably the most important thing is they regroup. They worked out some of their frustrations, and now they're starting to have some fun. And we just finished the third quarter, and we've got a tight ball game here. Oklahoma City out in front, leading by just two. And do not go away, as we'll be back in just a few moments with the start of our fourth quarter coming up next. And a quick look now at the State Farm assist of the game. 
it's just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball, and how about the perfect delivery? We call that putting it right in the pocket, and he knew what to do with it once it was there. And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. So with Harden on the bench, here's who Teron Lewis going with. Out on the wings for him, Powell and George. Daniel Tice out there with P.J. Tucker. And it's Westbrook in at the point. Uh, Paul George's shooting form is just so pretty. This guy's ability to make shots so easy. Gilgis Alexander against Westbrook. Gilgis Alexander can't get it to go. The Clippers in the lead. Pass to Tice. Wants to get it to Westbrook and does. Six on the shot clock. Fades away. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. The shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's a shot he has to continue to take. Here's Gilgis Alexander, and Westbrook pulls it down. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. Tries a three. Rebound by Williams. Oklahoma City shooting certainly a key for them in this one. 55% from the field. Joe Cool. Game winding down, and they just keep changing leads. And guys, no separation yet, and I really don't think we're going to see any all the way down. Tucker a screen. The shot by George, no good. For Oklahoma City, they've gone one of three from the field to start the fourth quarter. Gilgis Alexander, a screen on power. Sinks the triple. And it's a five-point Thunder lead. And he gives up some size on that play, but the defender time out, time fails out. to close the gap. It's incredible to me how players have become so adept at creating just enough space to get the shot off. Nicely done. And the Clippers call time here. Both teams will make substitutions. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Hey, Kevin. During that last break, I heard Teron Lou as he talked with the team. He told his guys, I need you all to come together right now on both ends. This game is not over, and you need to go out there and take control now. We'll see how it looks coming out of the timeout. Guys? Thank you, David. Here's man. The dish to George. Man passes to Harden. 11 feet away. And again, no good by the Clippers. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. Bill just Alexander with it. Leonard picks him up. Down low. And Holmgren, the bucket on the assist by Gilgis Alexander. Gilgis Alexander's got four assists now tonight. 
Clippers trail by seven. Now here is George. Harden outside. Zubats with the screen for Harden. Will it go? And the dunk by Zubats. Wow, they needed a bucket, and Zubats answers the call big time. Giddy the pass to Holmgren. Now Gilgis Alexander. Holmgren with a screen on Harden. The shot's good from Gilgis Alexander. And the Thunder lead by seven. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher. A coach knows it. Well, the best players to me deliver night after night after night. So as long as he's high, keep riding it. Harden's shot is good. Well, this team leans heavily on James Harden when the game is hanging in the balance. Mr. Harden with a big shot. Harden against Gilgis Alexander. Shot clock at six. Double team on Gilgis Alexander. Here's Holmgren. That one drops for him. Holmgren's got four points now in the quarter. No, oh, staying cool in a clutch moment. Holmgren not letting his inexperience get the best of it. Harden outside. There's a minute left in the fourth quarter. Trains the three-pointer. Well, if you need a bucket, there's no guy you probably want more than James Harden doing his thing. Ball on the string. You need to score it. No problem. Holmgren with a screen on Harden. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Yes! SGA. That's Shea Gilgis Alexander to you. Big time clutch delivery. George against Dort. It counts. What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. You can see Paul George is locked in right now. Big time shots demonstrate his elite level in the NBA. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Twenty-seven seconds left in the fourth quarter, and he commits the intentional foul. He drops the first one, and that gives them a four-point cushion. Well, Shea Gildas Alexander, despite his young age, has always been rock solid in his confidence. Here's a big time moment for him to deliver. Wow, I tell you what, those free throws will give them some much needed breathing room. Two possession game now. And the Clippers call time here. They're behind by five. 26 seconds left here in the fourth quarter.
just two seconds between shot clock and game clock. George dishes to Harden. Gilgis Alexander with the steal. And now we've got the intentional foul. No choice but to foul there, but, it, but he's probably the last guy you want to see on the line. Good on the first, and that increases their lead to six. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a seven-point game. Well, it's about the little details. Capitalize at the free-throw line, add to your lead. Man can hit. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. So we see the Thunder get the win here. Probably a little closer than they would have liked it, but a win nonetheless. Yeah, but I really got a sense that the fans gave them that emotional boost that was needed down the stretch. This crowd, man, they were electric. And that about wraps it up. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. And now, we present the New Balance Player of the Game, Shea Gilgis-Alexander.